Lift off will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Hey, hey. I'm gonna be doing the, this bird again today. Trying to finish it off. I'm gonna get straight into it so we got more time. Uh, mute that leg a little bit. This is exactly where we left off. And I'm gonna just be this little leggy. Just take it away a minute. Um, using the gizmo tool, moving it down. There we go. Just like the way a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tilt these feet up. So looking at the front. Um, don't know where I just did that. And. Now going into our scene, I'm gonna pick just the toesies and the feetsies, and I'm gonna move these just easier. So I'm gonna have them facing the front, and then we're gonna tip them upwards. And just. Line them up properly. There we go. So that it makes it easier when we do our bit. And just um that that um leg cube, I don't like it bent like that. So I'm gonna fix this one here. Now this is a weird way it works you gotta like point it towards the camera so kind of like this you'll see now that it's massive and then bring it back down but can you see it's pointing the wrong way totally now it's because it points wherever the camera is, if you know what I mean. So, I don't think we're going to be able to fix it without moving it with the gizmo. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'll just move it with the gizmo. Just dying a little bit. I'm just seeing it where it's with the toesies. And now, it's pretty much where the toesies are. You have to check everything in 3D space. Because it's quite annoying. <laughs> but I think we're looking pretty good now. So, what I'm going to do is voxel merge all these things together. I'm just going to go to about 270-ish. Voxel Merger. And then use the Smooth tool. And smooth them all together. You might have to do something else with this. It's not quite merging together like I wanted to. Just get rid of all these lines. Yeah. As you can see, it's not gone quite how I want it. So I'm just going to add some clay back here. Just to fill up this little gap. Nice be that. It's starting to get more like how I want it. 
But can you see it's messed a little bit nice? We have to add more clay. Okay, here. I want to see leg. This is really not working. <laughs> just realized. <laughs> so, and then we're just going to start that foot again because <laughs> that is totally wrong. So, deleting that one now. And I'm going back to our cheap. And then going to curve. And just drawing it again. So, we have a straight line. And then we'll have two of these that come out like this. We'll have to go back into that first one because it's a bit short. And extend it a little bit. And click the radius on these so we get two radiuses. And have it shrunk down like this. Just like we did with the last ones. Do the same on this one. Take the radius, shrink it down, and the last one. Click the radius, shrink it down. And there we go. Now I'm going to use the gizme first to get them a bit closer than they were. I'm selecting different ones. This one is not playing boom. Right there. Um we gotta select all the twos <laughs> yes. and flick them up. Like that. Um just get them nice and level. Now, as you can see, they were near the leg, so we have to be the leg down. That's pretty close. I think it's going to end up the same footing, bring it down tad, like this. Now, you try and box some merger. Do all these voxel merge. Let's do it lower than 270. Let's try like 150 because we still want to move it. See, so hopefully, now when I just move that, I, they'll start joining together a bit more. Just getting this right. And we go check all the way right end just in case. It's starting to get there. I should have made that one slightly more in the middle. Mm -hmm. Just know it's in there. Let's go back. Let's go on to that one and use the gizmo. Let's put it more in the middle. There we go. So now we'll have to select all these again. Box the merger again. Yeah, probably about 150. And then use the smooth to join it all together. And hopefully it'll all join back up like it was. You see, with it boxed and merged so low, it's more malleable, so you can really join things together like this. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that's pretty good. See, now you can 
raise the box and merge back up if I can find it. They remesh it now at like 270. If we're gonna. And now we can just get rid of these horrible lines. Just um, get rid of these as well because it's really pointed. Like that's it. Now you just turn it on every angle and smooth at you. Get one of these lines. Just make sure it's done on every angle, which it is. There now we have our leg. Let's go back into our front view. And let's move the leg, shall we? So we have to get it in position with the bird. A little bit bigger. More straight. And we're gonna have to go on to the left. Make sure we're straight that way. And then move it into the bird. Right there. Now the clever thing is we'll be able to just mirror that to the other side to make two feet. Which I'll just do now. So we're on that one. If we say add a mirror then it's on the other side. Like so. Now for the little hair bits, I'm going to do the same thing again, so cheap, I'm just going to do this away from the bird because it's always good to do. Um, choose curve would help, and um, we're just going to have, oh, no, um, symmetry's on, get back, <laughs> and symmetry, 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 so yeah, mirror, that's it. Oh, there it's because we need it for the leg. So let me just add it back again and add a mirror. Now then, what we're going to have to do is totally come out of there so that it doesn't do that to us again. So roughly about here, we'll have one. We'll have two and we'll have three. Oh, no. If it would draw, which it mean? We'll have three. And what we're going to do is change the radiuses of these so that we can go somewhere here. Pick the other tube. Press on radius so we get two. Shrink them down. And on the next one, pick the tube, hit the radius, and shrink one end, like so. Now what we're going to have to do is join them up. So, I'm going to use the gizmo tool to make them closer. That middle one's a bit skinny. So I'll make that bigger in a sec. Like now. <laughs> and then the last one. And then... So I'll try and do it in 3D space. Join up with the other ones. See, it looks like it has on certain angles, but it has on, I don't think. <laughs> Just trying to line this up now. Now 
Now it's inside the other one. Like that. Just need to raise up a little bit. There we go. So now we can box and merge these together. Um, if I can select them all. Like that. Box and merge it. We'll have it at about 160 again because we want to make sure they join join so using the speed tool now and we got the all number angle and just to give it that little flick we're going to use the move tool. It's going to have quite a big radius. And just pull the middle of it. Just slightly so it's got that bend. That's pretty good. And now we've got to place it onto the head. So we'll have our front view. We're going to Gizmo. And we'll have our left view. It's always difficult to see where it is in space. Make sure it's in the center of the bird. From all angles. Which it is. These bits are a bit long, so what I'm going to do is use the trim tool and put it on lasso and just chop these off a little bit and then use the smooth again just to smooth these edges off that's looking better so now we're pretty much done with the bird then what we're going to do is go into each layer, just choose the body, we're going to voxel, not merge, we're going to voxel remesh it, make sure it's like 270 plus, and then use the smooth tool to get rid of all those horrible lines, like so. I'm going to do this over the whole model so it looks nice. Making sure you got every angle. It's going to take a little while, I'm afraid. Just didn't get you through every angle. Just getting rid of all those mesh lines. Mm. As you can see, they're everywhere. But T seventy does all that, and all this jaggedy stuff on the wings. Not mm. smooth all that. Mm. Get rid of all these lines. And on the wing itself, here. I think that's it. Oh no, down here. What I mean about you have to look on every angle, it's like really bad. Like, yeah, even there, look. You could so easily miss a piece. <laughs> now that we've done that one, let's go on to the next one. So, this is the nose cane. Can I remesh this? I'm gonna make it eight C semi blast. 
and we have to get really careful because we don't want it to smear that, that gap in the beak there because it will. Let's get rid of all of our lines. There it's got a few. Make sure it's done on every angle, which looks like it is. Next match. <laughs> Is that the back cane? I think it is. So, do the same again. We'll validate it first because it won't do nothing otherwise. Then we're going to remesh it to 70 odd. And get rid of all these lines. Makes it look much better. I do this to all my models. It does look way better when it's done. A little bit of a pain to keep doing it, but it's worth it in the end. I think that's it for the sale. Just have a look on the angle. I'll probably find something that I ain't done. <laughs> no. What was that? Because I didn't see it. Oh, the actual eyes. Okay. Delete them. Box or remesh. Up to 270 odd. It's a lot of French and P. <laughs> And then get rid of all these lines on the eyes. The beauty of these are they're in a mirror. So whatever you do to this one should happen to the other one. <laughs> Save me a bit of time. Now the actual eyes themselves, like the pupils. Uh, box will remesh that. Oh, not merge. Remesh. And like she sent me. And again, this is in a mirror. So whatever you do to this one, what happened to the other one? Which is awesome. I think we're done. That was a really quick one. Stay on to the next. Um, which is next? No, done that one. That was the eye. That was the pupils. That was the leg. Ah, the head. So validate that. I'm going to here, voxel remesh yeah. up to 270 yard. It doesn't have to be exactly like, as long as like 270 plus. And just speed the head out as well. We are so close. <laughs> Just um, doing this on every angle, I'll ask you. These on the back. And there'll probably be some on the top. Maybe some on the bottom. You gotta try and go for everywhere you haven't been. So. There's our bird looking a bit better now. Still plenty of time. So, what we're going to do 
it's working on now. Light it properly. And, oh, actually, should we paint a thing in the back here? I don't know what colour is meant to be. It's always in black and white, this one. Um, let's pick the main body. Go into our pink. And we'll just pick, no, like a, a brain or something. Yeah, smile. And we'll choose the roughness, which we want it fully rough. Then paint tool. And that'll make that, that colour. And the tail's going to be that colour as well. So, this one I think it is. Um, go back into paint. We'll paint the tail. And the head as well. So, um, we're trying to find the head now, that one. And paint, and paint all. There we go. <laughs> this hair would be kind of the same, but I'm going to make it like green or something. Just to make it a bit different. So, going into this one. Oh, that's the leg. Actually, we do the leg, the beak, and um, I think the other leg is on a mirror. So we'll find a. Let's make these yellow for now. It's kind of yellow. Yep. That looks good. And um, we'll try to find where the hair is. The hair. So we're going to paint. We're going to make this bit uh, green. <laughs> Pretty bright green. And we're going to make that shiny. So you turn off all the roughness. I'm going to paint that bit. And I, the eyes, sure. Yeah. This bit of the eye is going to be white. So I'm going to go into white. And paint that bit. You'll see it stays grey just because we haven't got the light set up yet. Which we'll do in a sec. And then I'm just going to make the pupil bits. Um, paint them black. So it. So the eyes look grey, and that's because we haven't got the lights. So now that we've got our bird all painted, let's make some lights. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go into the shading panel, which is this one. And the first thing we're going to do is turn off the environment, everything will go black. So you can't even see it. Now we're going to add lights. So we'll add our first light. Go on the top so we can see where this light's going to go. We're going to have it slightly off to the right of the bird. Bring it out the bird. Gonna raise the intensity of that one. No, I'm gonna move it slightly to the front of the bird. <laughs> I didn't realize we're at the back of the bird. Yeah, it can be really finicky to pick the lights. So, that's for better. 
So now we're on here. And that looks pretty low. It's pretty intensity. Yeah, by right there. Now we're gonna call this light the key. Um yeah, the key. And we're gonna add another light. And for some reason this one's coming out of the front, which is good. This one's gonna be a spotlight. I'm gonna point out the bird again. And make it the cone bigger. Now, this one is called the fill. So I'm gonna rename that one the fill. I'm gonna add another light now. Now this one we do want right at the back. Gonna be held trendy probably. I know it worked pretty well. Make it the spotlight again. Ease the cone up. I'm gonna have this just to one side of the character. Right there. Now what we're gonna do is looking at the character straight on. We're gonna raise the intensity of that light. Until we can see the white shine on the side, which we can see on the wing now, which means we've got to move it. You see, it just lights up the side of the model, and this is what we want. This one is called the rim light, so we're going to call that rim. We're gonna add our last light. Gonna go to the top view on this one. Because we want it directly above the model. Right there. Gonna have this pointing down. Make it a spotlight. And we're gonna change the color of this one to this light blue. <coughs> My voice, too bad. So, can you see that this is really, doesn't really affect a lot? It just gives it that little bit of a different color, like on the top of the eyes. You see that that blue. Doesn't seem to do a lot, but it, it will do. So we get our character into place, such as it is. And then we can go over here to the project folder, this one. And we're going to save, because we haven't saved for a while. Save it. And then we're going to export it. Now, we don't want the other model in the background. That was just our reference. We're going to go transparent. And now do it. And it's going to come out a lot nicer. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to move that line a little bit. And the one in the background. The rim line. This one, because we want the character on a slight angle, and we still want that weight to show up, like it is. Right then. Perfect. Now we're going to do the same again. So we're going to save first. So save it with that angle. And then 
we're gonna export it with a transparent program, right? Like so. And then we're just gonna go to save image. The other thing we can do is go to the new ad menu up here and put it on the turntable. That's how you can see the model all the way around. Which I'll no, I can't Sorry, I would save it by screen recording it. But I can't because I am screen recording. As such, to do this live stream. <laughs> so, that's our bird. Should we change the colour of those wings? I feel like the wing should be in a different colour. Gonna select the main body. Go to the paint tool. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna come up here and select Dine Toppy and choose the colour. What should we have? Blue. Turn the roughness back up. And because Dine Toppy is on, It'll actually give us a really nice edge that radius was too big. So I'll just adjust that now. We'll put it down to a five. And then now what I do, you see, because the dying top is on, you'll have a really nice edge. So I'll just go across these wings. And fill it in, make the radius a bit bigger. Put the fill in bar. And just cover it in. Um. Maybe we see what happened. So. And just follow in the lines to get that one in. <laughs> Turn it slightly so we can do these bits. You don't have to worry about going over the head because it won't. We are selected on the body part. So you can just keep drawing over the head if you want. And that's no problem. Doing is the takes a little while, and then to do the other side. Let's see, that does come up a bit more to about there. Do that bit. There we go. Now we'll do the other one. <laughs> and put the radius back down. Just to get that line in. Along the bottom. Like so. Now we can rate that the radius back up and fill in the rest. Mm -hmm. Not 
be in the news, unfortunately. Trying to rush. Don't want to stream. But you can make this really good. Put in the gaps. Nerdy dog. Just put in these little bits down here. And then right in here. And uh, all the gaps that we ain't done. <laughs> Try and do it as quickly as possible. Like so. So not the neatest, but you get the point. So there's our blue winged bird now. So now we're gonna have to take the picture again. I'm just realizing that, that wasn't very good. So I'm gonna go back on to our pink tool. Make sure we're on the body, which we are. Just do these. Is it the same? Yeah. Make it a little bit more neater on these. Just for the picture. Make sure we got that white light on the side. Hey. <laughs> Hopefully for the last time, go and save. Um, put it on transparent and explore. And there we go. Save image. And I'll put that on the club leader. And there we are. When Tiki Bird finished up. Yay. <clears throat> no, no. Does anyone want anything else? It's the thing. Because there's time left. Ah, uh, yes. I do want to show you something. So, I'm going to go start a new file. Like that, and I get rid of our main sphere. And now I'm going to show you the lathe tool. So this this one, and we're going to make it the curve, which will set up like a symmetry line. And then whatever you draw on this side will happen on that side. So if we wanted a glass, we'll have to make the inner of the glass so then, and then it'll make it for you which is awesome and then because we did the inner part it will be the inner like that very easy i'll just um show you again <laughs> making a different thing this time so now that we've got our center line, whatever we draw will be on the other side as well. Like a tree, for example. So that, or anything really. So make this weird snake thing. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of shapes that we could use. So anything that you can think of. Like that. <laughs> Very strange, but it'll do. And like I say, if you want something to be an inner of something, then you just draw it up and back down. 
And you know, have that inner peace, like you say. You can then mute the notes if you want to, to make it longer or if you want to the middle bit deeper. You want it more wider. Everything's possible. So yeah, there we go. I think we're going to call it there because my voice is so bad. But thanks for coming. And I'll put that tiki bird on the club now. Yeah, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.